Hello students my name is Sumit Mehta so today in this lecture we will discuss about what is electric motor and how does it work okay so an electric motor is students an electric motor is a rotating device is a rotating device that converts electrical energy to mechanical energy energy to mechanical energy okay so electric motor is used as an important components in electric fans okay where it is used in electric fans refrigerators mixers washing machine okay computers mp3 etc okay so here it is shown an electric motor it is an electric motor okay it consists of a rectangular coil a b c d okay so this is the rectangular coil a b c d of an insulated copper wire and the coil is placed in between two poles of magnetic field which are shown here it is a north pole and it is a south pole okay such that the arm ab and the arm cd are perpendicular to the direction of the magnetic field so that the magnetic field will be like this north to south and these arms are always perpendicular to the direction of the magnetic fields the end of the coil are connected to the halves this p and q okay so these are connected to this b1 and r1 here the inner side of these halves are insulated and attached to an axle here the external conducting edges uh, touch two conducting stationary points which are r2 and b2 so these are two stationary points so whenever there is a current in the coil enters in when current in the coil enters a b c d means through this direction okay from the source battery from the battery okay and flows back to the battery through y and flows back to battery notice that the current in the arm ab is in this direction ab of the coil flows from a to b and in the arm cd it is flown from c to d that is opposite to the direction of the current arm a and b on applying the fleming's left hand rule for the direction of the force so let's say the current is in this direction okay Uh, current is in this direction magnetic field is in this direction magnetic field so the force will be perpendicular to both these so you can apply the fleming's left hand rule here fleming's left hand rule so what we will get is that the direction of the force on a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field that the force acting on the arm pushes it downwards so the force will acts in the downward direction on arm ab and while on the cd the force acting in the upward direction okay so a device that reverses the direction of
so while the force acting on the arm cd pushes it upward thus the coil and the xlo mounted free to turn about an axis so it turns like this means this coil turns about this rotates an anti clockwise and at half rotation q makes this r1 makes contact with the brush and this b1 with brush y okay so this makes contact with this ones so it stops there therefore the current in the coil gets reversed then the current gets reversed because these two points are uh, opposite their position so now r1 comes here and b1 comes there on a uh, anti clockwise rotation so the current now reverses its direction okay and a device that reverses the direction of the current flow in a circuit it is called as commutator commutator okay students so this is how the current always reverses its direction one by one okay and the reversal of the current also reverses the direction of the force on the two arms a b and c d thus the arm a b of the coil that was earlier pushed down it is now pushed upwards and c d will now pushed downwards so therefore the coil and the xl again rotate half a turn more in the same direction thus reverses of the current again continues okay students so this process goes on repeating uh, itself okay so this is how the electric motor works so now i hope that you are pretty clear about how electric motor works student and uh, this is very important question from exam point of view also state the working of electric motor so now i hope that you can write that how it works and what is the diagram of it and in the ne next lecture student we will discuss about electromagnetic inductions so stay tuned for the next lecture and happy learning students thank you